te veo tanto más Comprendo que tan lejos, lejos se puede estar Cuántas radios suenan por allí Mientras las almas penan sin decir Cuántos ríos tendremos que cruzar I'm Larry Gross here with one of our guests on the mountain stage, Mr. Federico Obel, and here's his latest CD, Amatoria. It's a beautiful, beautiful record, and it's got a mix of a lot of different styles. You, you were born in Argentina? In Buenos Aires, correct, yeah. Okay, and so as you grew up, what did you listen to? Uh, well, I, when I was a kid, when I, uh, I would still not choose the music I, w I wanted to, to listen to, uh, my parents would listen to a lot of... Uh, you know, Mexican boleros, uh, Brazilian bossa nova, quite a lot, uh, Argentinian tangos, and stuff like that, some uh, some salsa here and there. Um, and so that kind of like, there was a, an influence when I was a kid. Then later on, when I when I started to, when I became a teenager and when I started buying records and stuff, I first, you know, I, uh, as, as a teenager, I started listening to rock, of course, and... Uh, and uh, what was the rock of your day? I mean, what, what, what uh, you? Well, I was, the, I was uh, <laughs> the first record I ever bought was uh, Van Halen. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> then I, uh, but no, then I was, uh, at the beginning I was into punk rock, so I was, I was listening to The Clash and The Ramones, stuff like that. And then, uh, and then I got into like more like Pink Floyd and, and 60s stuff. And um, so you all got combined, then later on, kind of like started listening to classical music and, and jazz. So it was, it was a whole, you know, experience of discovering new music all the time and uh, very enjoyable, really. Well, I read that even when you were a high school guy, high school age, you liked big band jazz. How did that happen? Yeah, well, my, my dad, he's an older guy. Uh, he was older than the average, uh, the, 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 the average age of the, of the parents of my, of my schoolmates. So um, he, he grew up listening to big bands. So you heard it in the home. So he had his record collections, yeah. his 78 RP, RPMs. <laughs> and, you, and you liked it. And uh, yeah, I would totally dig it. Uh, I guess it was a way for me also to communicate with my father, so it was, uh, it was a nice thing to share. Dura en el tiempo, si no es de tiempo, así es este amor de la luna y el sol. En tu boca, el primer beso, Do you write only in, in Spanish now, lyrics? Uh, yeah, so far I, I try to write some stuff in English since English became a, a very important thing for me, uh, for my everyday life really, uh, ever since I started touring a lot more and everything. And, um, but I'm still not very convinced. Uh, I think my lyrics in Spanish are still better. So, but eventually it'll happen. <laughs> well, even I mean, even if you were, if you don't speak Spanish, you relate to the lyrics because the songs are so atmospheric. And I don't speak Spanish, but I love mm. I love them. And I, everybody here was crazy about the That's sound, which which is uh, you know the, the the whole thing of it is the sound. So you just moved to New York to Brooklyn from Spain. Yes, exactly. I was uh, I was living in Barcelona in in Spain, and I moved to to Brooklyn to New York in February. But just I, for business reasons, or what what brought you here? Yeah, I was um, you know I was touring mostly all the time, uh, more U.S. than uh, than, than Europe. And uh, although I tour Europe, uh, I was I was touring more really in the U.S. And uh, my booking agency is here in the U.S. A record label is in the U.S. And most of it is in New York. So it made sense for me to, at least for a couple of years, uh, move to New York and, uh, and stay here. How did you get the record deal? How did you get on the label? Oh, uh, that was a fun story. I was still living in Buenos Aires back then. It was 2001, I believe. 
and uh, and I was uh, I was I was DJing a lot. I was a DJ, so and I had a lot of records, and uh, so I was working on my own demos, stuff that I would do by with, with a lot of guitar, a little bit of vocals, and uh, and sampling a lot of stuff like beats from my records and, and like Brazilian beats and this and that, and uh, and one of the many records I had was uh, one from the Thievery Corporation, uh, and they own their own label, so um, I. Send them an email, say, "Hey, I have these demos. I would like to send them to you." And one of the guys was like, "Yeah, sure. Send them to this address." So I mailed them to to to, to the address, and uh, and like two weeks later, they said, "Oh, we, we like your demos a lot. Do you have more stuff?" <laughs> I sent them some more stuff. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> dream. <laughs> it was a sh <laughs> and uh, after like four demos, I sent them. They're like, "Oh, we would like to have you on the label and produce your albums. That's cool with you." I'm like, "Yeah, that's cool with me." <laughs> yeah. And whose idea was it to put uh, have a lot of female vocals on here, including your own wife? Yeah, as well as some others, and they're really beautiful. They're all great singers. Who is that your idea? Uh, yeah, the um, I mean, the, I, the, I, the, the, the album is all about love, so yeah, it, yeah. it makes certain sense. I was a, uh, it was a way to signify a little bit the whole love thing and male and female union. But uh, I always worked. Uh, I always liked a lot the the combination of, of male vocals with a, with a female backing sing uh, backing singers or even duets and everything. Mm -hmm. I think it sounds beautiful. Uh, you know, ever since Serge Gainsbourg in the 60s, the, mm -hmm. the, the French guy with, uh, with uh, Jean Berkin or with uh, Brigitte Bardot, or, uh, or not long ago, this uh, Robert Plant with Alison Krauss, mm -hmm. a beautiful record. So uh, I always like the combination of both. I think it sounds very nice. Yeah. And it does. It's a beautiful record. Federico Obel, Amatoria, and uh, you can find out more at mountainstage.org. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Ya lo sé, años van sin poder soltar Recuerdos de ayer Así mirando los pasar y volver Recuerdos de ayer Thank you.